Hey everybody, so the day has finally arrived. Ford has taken off the wraps off of their completely all electric F-150. They're calling this the F-150 Lightning. That's right, the Lightning name is back after how many years it's been gone. Now, if you're new to the channel, please be sure to click that subscribe button and turn on all notifications so you're alerted every time we make a new video. We get a lot of support, of course, from you guys and the channel only continues to grow more and more. So help us get to a million subscribers. We're getting closer and closer every day. But if you guys have been wanting to know everything there is to know about the 2022 F-150 Lightning, you've come to the right place. So let's take a first look at this hotly anticipated all electric pickup truck. Now, as most of you guys know, electrification is the future of the auto industry, and that future is even more clear because we are seeing the technology being adapted to the pickup truck segment. This is the segment that is the best-selling segment in America. In fact, the F-Series has held that title as the best-selling vehicle for the last 44 years. So Ford is all in on electrification, and this F-150 Lightning is going to go head-to-head -head with trucks like the Tesla Cybertruck and, of course, the Rivian R1T, both of which are supposed to start production this year with deliveries of the Rivian starting hopefully by this summer. Now, Ford says the new F-150 Lightning won't be actually getting into customers' hands until early next year, but at the end of this video, you can go to Ford's website and you can actually put a deposit down, a $100 reservation, so you can secure your place in line for this all new F-150 Lightning. Now, without further ado, I wanna get into the specs of this truck because there's a lot of people out there who have been waiting for Ford to reveal an all electric version of their truck. Right off the bat, let's talk about the range. Up to 300 miles of range on a full charge with the extended range battery pack. The standard range model, the standard battery pack version will do a maximum of 230 miles. Those are Ford's estimates. Of course, those are not the EPA estimates. Ford says that the uh, extended range battery pack will be available on the lower trims, standard on the top grade Platinum. Now, speaking of which, the F-150 Lightning will launch in base XLT, mid or high tr higher trim Lariat and top of the line Platinum. So three different trims. You can only buy it in the Super Crew full full size door configuration and the shorter five and a half foot bed. All of them will come standard with four wheel drive. The four wheel drive system is different, of course, because we have dual motors. You'll have a single independent motor in the front and another motor in the back. Ford did not disclose the battery pack capacity of either models. I'm gonna estimate they're in the 100 to 150 kilowatt range, depending on whether you go for the standard or the extended range battery pack. Ford says the standard range battery pack model will produce a maximum of 426 horsepower. So that's already way more power than what you're gonna get for most of the gas engines on the F-150. And torque will be a rather impressive 775 pound feet. Now I'm going to estimate that version will probably do zero to 60 in the mid five second range. Ford did give us a zero to 60 estimate for the extended range model, which offers up to 563 horsepower. So around 140 horsepower more than the standard battery pack, the same 775 pound feet of torque. That one will do zero to 60 in around 4.5 seconds. So now we have an all electric F-150 that's also the quickest accelerating version of the truck because of course of electric motors that offer all that instantaneous torque. Now, of course, it's a pickup truck. You need to be able to do truck things with it. And Ford says the F-150 Lightning will tow a maximum of 10,000 pounds with the extended battery, 7,700 pounds with the standard battery. It'll haul a maximum of 2,000 pounds in the bed. Um, the extended range battery pack will do around 1,800 pounds. So still very, very competitive numbers right in line, of course, with Tesla Cybertruck and the Rivian R1T. Now, in terms of charging, this is, of course, a very important factor for EV buyers. Ford says on a level three fast charger, it'll charge at a maximum of 150 kilowatts. So you'll be able to go from five to 80% charge in roughly 41 minutes with the extended range battery pack. That is pretty competitive, although some of the you know, newer EVs offer the 800 volt system that'll do that in about half the time. I'm hoping Ford will eventually speed that up as time goes on. On a level two charger, which is what you'll charge mostly at home, Ford says it'll take roughly overnight. So either 10 to 12 hours, depending on the size of the battery pack. So now that we've gotten the specs out of the way, let's talk about the unique styling of the F-150 Lightning because when it's an electric version of the truck, you want it to stand out. You want people to notice that you're driving an electric version of the F-150. And when we first look at the truck, it has the same basic silhouette and shape of an F-150. So if you guys were hoping it'd be looking all crazy, like it's from Mars, like the Cybertruck, you're not at the right place, go and buy a Tesla. This is a more traditional look that has a unique upgrade on its own. The grill, as you can see, 
is completely closed off. It has a similar shape to the gas F-150, but they've closed off all the openings. You have this very unique light signature, of course. The full LED headlights are gonna be standard, which are adaptive. The F-150 Lightning has a unique LED light signature that goes the entire front end. So this is gonna give you a really unique look and presence when it's out on the road. And the cool thing about the Lightning is when you lift up that hood, there's actually going to be a standard front trunk, a frunk, which will offer the power opening and closing frunk on all the trim levels of the F-150 Lightning. Ford says the capacity of this frunk is 400 liters. It'll carry a maximum of 400 pounds in the actual frunk. The frunk itself will have a power outlet. It'll also have a drain plug. It'll have the ability to carry up to two golf clubs in it, or you could also put up to two roller bags and a check bag in it. So massive frunk capacity. It gives pickup truck buyers a new level of uh, storage capacity, covered storage capacity. So no longer do you have to you know, store stuff in the cab. You can now put it in the front trunk. So I think that is definitely a game changer. I love how Ford is using the otherwise wasted space for an internal combustion engine and giving it back to the customer in terms of actual storage capacity. Now, moving around the side profile, you'll notice that it has, again, a very traditional truck shape. Like I said earlier, only crew cab configuration, short bed, which means you have a 145 inch long wheelbase, a 232 inch long overall length. The base XLT version will come with 18 inch wheels going up to a 22 inch wheel when you guys go for the platinum. So massive wheels. Ground clearance Ford says is at around 8.9 inches. They did lower the truck slightly. They gave the wheels a little bit more of an aerodynamic shape because remember Ford is trying to extend the range. So you're not, you're gonna lose a little bit of off-road capability with the electric version. But I think that's a fair compromise to make, especially when you consider you know, the factors, uh, what's important for a lot of EV customers. At the rear of the Lightning, you can see you have the same similar shape of the F-150's tail lights, although you have this new full length LED light signature that connects the two taillight modules together in the actual bed. The bed itself offers an optional remote power open and closing feature, which we've seen before on the gas version of the F-150. Uh, and when you open up the bed, Ford's Pro Power onboard generator system is available. Here in the electric version, it'll offer uh, up to 9.6 kilowatts of power. And this will basically give you the ability to run your home in case your power goes out, Ford says for up to three days at max power, or if you rationalize your power supply or power usage, it'll actually run up to 10 days on the extended range battery pack depending of course on other factors, but that's a really big game changer for those of you who experience power outages all the time. You basically no longer need one of those portable gas powered generators. The F-150 Lightning will be that generator for you and it's always, always in the bed and it goes wherever you take your truck. Now moving on to the interior, the interior design is pretty familiar if you guys have been inside the current generation F-150, the gas powered models I'm talking about. The basic shape of the dash is there. You have that 12 inch productivity screen there in the instrument panel. Uh, and you have a 12 inch SYNC 4 system in the base XLT version. If you guys go to a Lariat or a Platinum, the Platinum comes standard with their SYNC 4A 15 and a half inch screen that we find in the Mustang Mach-E. These systems, of course, will include wireless over the air updates. You'll have wireless Android Auto and CarPlay. You'll have an available 18 speaker Bang & Olufsen stereo, which says sound incredible. And you'll get the optional phone as a key system. So you don't even have to have your key, an actual key fob with you. You can program your cell phone to work with the truck and recognize it as a key. So you don't even have to fumble around with keys. But other than that, it's the same basic stuff of an F-150. You have that shifter that folds down that gives you that table, that workspace. You have a very spacious, open and airy cabin with massive amounts of rear legroom so you can comfortably seat up to five people. And I think a lot of people are going to really like the fact that you have a traditional look to the dash. There are still dedicated hard buttons. There's still a volume knob when you guys even go for the 15 and a half inch screen. It's just a familiar environment that still gives you a lot of the modern tech conveniences that a lot of buyers demand. So now that we've talked about all the specs of the F-150 Lightning, you're probably wondering what is the price of this vehicle? Well, it's gonna start at 39,974, just under $40,000 for the base commercial grade version of the truck. They didn't actually show that version. They didn't offer the specs. And I'm wondering if that one will actually be available in a different cab configuration and bed length. Ford didn't actually mention that. If you guys want the base XLT version, that's the base model for the consumer truck. That'll start at 52,974. So nearly $53,000. Definitely ain't cheap, but it's around the price of what people are paying for a nicely optioned gas powered version of the, F-150, uh, ver of the F-150 truck. Keep in mind, this is before the $7,500 federal tax credit and whatever other state, and state incentives your local state may offer you. 
Ford did say that if you guys go for a fully loaded Platinum, this truck will top out at around $90,000. That basically puts it in the same company, of course, as the Tesla Cybertruck, the Rivian R1T. And if you guys are looking to get your hands on this truck, you're gonna have to wait a little bit longer. Ford says consumer deliveries will start early next year. So this may very well be a 2023 model year. I'm not sure if it's a 2022 or 2023, um, but you're going to have to wait a little bit. However, after you watch this video, you can go to Ford's website and you can put a deposit down for $100, basically secure your place in line uh, to get one of these trucks. And it's definitely something that I'm very excited for. I really believe it's going to change the way consumers look at electric vehicles because the pickup truck market, as you guys know, is the hottest segment here in America. And once the truck segment goes electric, it's pretty much going to solidify the fact that electric is the future in the auto industry. And if you're not offering something that's electric, you're really starting to fall behind. So I'm really impressed with what Ford is doing nowadays, how they're riding that wave of electrification. They're trying to be at the forefront. And it's a really exciting time right now to be in the market for an all electric vehicle. Well, with all that said, I hope you guys have enjoyed my full first look overview on the 2022 or 2023 F-150 Lightning. If you're also looking to see the latest cars I'm testing, be sure to follow me on Instagram at Redline underscore reviews, like us on Facebook. And as always guys, please keep subscribing to the Redline Reviews YouTube channel for all the latest reviews. Thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you all in the next video.